After seven hard-fought games, it all came down to this. September 28, 1972, winner take all. The air in the Moscow arena here is tense. I mean, Hollywood couldn't come up with a script like this, especially for me. What ended as a national celebration didn't start out that way. Tensions had reached the boiling point. Be another penalty on the after two periods, the Soviets held a 5-3 lead, their style of play making the hockey world take notice. Both of us won what we had to win. We had to win the series. What they had to win was to show that hockey could be played a different way at the highest level, and they did that. Phil Esposito's goal early in the third period brought Canada to within one. Yvonne Cornoyer tied it up. The goal light never came on, sparking a wild scene at the Luzhniki Ice Palace. And I believe Alan Eagleson is in on it over there as far as we can tell. Convinced the goal would not count, Eagleson had attempted to reach the timer's bench. The Canadian players rescuing their manager from Soviet police. Apparently uh, the police were trying to throw Eagleson out. The goal did count, setting the stage for a moment that almost never happened. I was on the bench. And Paul was sitting be beside me, and uh, it was near the end of the game, and my brother was on the ice, and Paul is screaming. For some reason, I stood up and started yelling at Peter Mohavlitz to come off, and thank goodness Peter thought it was a coach yelling at him. Pete looks at me, he says, what's the matter with him? And I says, I don't know. Boom, he scores the goal. Here's a shot! Henderson made a wild stab, work fell. Here's another shot, right by the score! I got the rebound and jumped into the air, and we've been celebrating now 40 years. A celebration that won't end anytime soon. The game is over, and Canada has won the series. And what a great shot of Paul Henderson at the end of the story. You can see the relief on his face. And talking to the players this week, they all mentioned how much pressure there was on the team to win, and they managed to pull it out with just seconds remaining. Tonight, at the Royal York Hotel just down the street, the team is being honoured at a special gala. One of the guest speakers, Prime Minister Stephen Harper. So not just a great moment in Canadian hockey history, but a great moment in Canadian history, period. And it all happened 40 years ago today.